Brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today the 2nd of February, Holy Mother the Church celebrates the presentation of the Lord. It has been 40 days since the birth of Jesus Christ. And according to the Jewish customs, 40 days after uh, the birth of the child, of the male child, the mother is supposed to come and present herself to the temple uh, according to the law so that she will be purified. Mother Mary, along with Joseph, get the baby Jesus to the temple and they present the offerings. And what kind of offerings do they offer? They offer the turtle doves uh, offering which was meant for the poor people because those who have money could afford the lamb. But Mother Mary could not afford the lamb. Having the greatest wealth, God himself in her hands. She, she takes him and gets to temple, but she doesn't have money of the world. And here, two, two saintly characters whom we will meditate upon today is Simeon and Anna. Simeon, dear brethren, was advanced in age, but he got a vision from the Lord, a promise from the Lord, that he is not going to close his eyes until and unless he look, has a look at the salvation. And that's how, as soon as he looks at Jesus, he came to know that salvation has come. And then he sings out the Nunc Dimittis, Nunc Dimittis, which is at last, all-powerful master, you give leave to your servant to go in peace according to your promise. Beautiful words and beautiful life. A life which speaks loud about God's faithfulness to the promises He makes. And it also speaks about the greatness of those who cling to the promises of God. Simeon, being present at that time, catered to him having the child saviour in his hand. If he wasn't present, the Lord couldn't present Himself to him. So, dear brethren, Am I giving my God a chance to save me? Am I giving a God a chance to fulfill the promises that He has made to me? It is because Simeon was faithful to the Lord and being present there, uh, he could uh, get the fulfillment of the promise. And the same with Anna, the prophetess. She was about 13 to 14 when she was married. She was around 21, 22 when she became a widow and 84 was her age when when the child Jesus came to the temple. Till that day, 63 years, dear brethren, she was in the temple. She could have become a prostitute, she could have become a temple prostitute, or she could have, uh, according to the liberate uh, law, she could have married her husband's brothers, but she didn't do anything of those. She offered her youth, she offered her whole life to the Lord. 63 years she was at the temple and doing what? The Bible says she was praying and fasting. And that's how the Lord who looked at her faithfulness for such long years gifted her with such a beautiful opportunity to have a glance at salvation itself. So dear brethren, both the characters teach us one little thing that let us be faithful to God. And even Bhagwan ke der mein Deer hai, Bhagwan ke ghar mein, deer hai par andeer nahi. In God's, in God's presence, in God's, in God's palace, uh, there is, there is delay, but not denial. That's how it is, dear brethren. We should not be taken up by the delay in the promises God has made to us in its fulfillment. But we should be clinging to God and the Lord will fulfill each and every promise He made to us. Amen.